guys, long time no chat. I am Angie from Angie's Lake Crafts, and I have not done a video since June, I think. I think the kids were still in school. Um, so I've pretty much worked on everything, I think, in the last however many months. So I thought I would do a whip parade. Um, if you're new here, welcome. I know lots of people uh, just kind of flip through whip parades, so if it's your first time here, I hope you see a project that you want to see more progress on and you'll stick around. For those who have stuck around for my absence, thank you for being here. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna try and make this like not as chatty as my other videos. I'm going to try and just show the projects. I'm not going to give a lot of information. I'm probably not going to use like my hashtags or the sales or anything. I just want to, I, I, this is going to be a long video. I have 48 whips, I believe. So this, yeah, we're going to hunker down and get this done. And I do have stats of how many stitches I've put in for like since my last whip, well, since January, um, I have a spreadsheet, so it's pretty easy to just tally the numbers. So they're like not exactly correct, but they're close enough. Um, I started 17 projects this year and I have had three finishes, which reminds me, I did not grab one of them, but that's okay. It was just a little, one of those little um, Shannon Christine designs, one of those little mugs. It's in my February, um, my February process video, if you want to, my update video, if you want to see. But um, maybe I will just start with finishes because there, there's only two to show. Um, let me just think if there was anything else I was going to say before I started this. Obviously, I have not done this for a while. No, I think, I think I will just get started. So I did finish my uh, Garnet by Carolyn Manning. This is what it looked like at the beginning of the year. <laughs> and um, you know what? I don't even know which way it goes, but aren't those colors gorgeous? I've said this many times. It helps that my son's birthstone is Garnet because red is my favorite color. Um, but yeah, so obviously I haven't done anything with that yet because I still need to do turquoise because that's my youngest son's, um, birthstone and then I'll have all three of our birthstones done and then I can figure out how I'm going to frame them or what I'm going to do with them. Um, but I can't really start my son's yet because, um, that goes into, well, maybe, never mind. I can't start it yet, and I'll explain that later. I'll just, my second finish. Wow, this is all over the place. Um, so many of you probably know that last, this, well, if you've been here before, obviously. Um, in December, I started a project for my niece. She was diagnosed with cancer, and during her treatment, I was working on this project for her. And she was, uh, got to ring the bell in September. She's cancer free. So this is my fully finished Ravenclaw pillow that I made for her. So I was stitching on it when she had appointments and, you know, things like that, praying for her throughout her journey. So now she, uh, she put some Ravenclaw fabric on the back, which I got from the UK somewhere. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so this was my first time sewing. My mom helped me a lot. Like I've, I've never sewed before. And I don't really think that doing a project for somebody else, <laughs> your first sewing experience is probably the best because I was super nervous that I was going to mess it up. And I mean, it's not perfect. We're, we're not going to do no close ups, but from afar, I was pretty happy with it. So I need to, um, and give that to her. They just got, sorry, crinkles. Um, they just got back from vacation, so 
I will be giving Dola or gifting that to her very soon. All right, so those, yeah, those are my finishes for a, a full year. <laughs> not a lot, not a lot. Um, but that's just me. Like I said, I have a lot of whips and um, normally I have a lot of starts, but in the last, actually probably since my last video, I've maybe only had one new start. I, I used to be somebody who starts everything, like all the time and multiple like full coverage starts, but I've kind of changed my stitching habits and other things and I just it's just not who I am anymore which is fine um, it's just a season I'm going through I guess and so I'm lots of people I know are like whipping up which is fine lots of people are whipping down I'm not really doing either of those things I'm kind of whipping steady like I just don't want to go past 50 whips so I have taken of my whips I have taken 25 that I will be like really focusing on six that are closer to finishes and I'm not UFOing like I'm not getting rid of my other projects I still love them but I'm just focusing on like 25 at a time um, but of course it's it's my rules so if there's a project that I really want to work on that is not part of that 25 I'm gonna work on it so but that's just Kind of how it is so some of these projects even though this is a whip parade they're probably not going to get a lot of progress in the next however long i decide to do this for but having said all that now i will get into the actual whip parade and everything over here is a mess so i don't know how quickly i'm going to be able to find all my whips but let's see if we can get this done in and out. I don't, I don't think so. So my first project is My Nativity by Donna Gelsinger, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. And I have like 20 projects in one bag. So this will just, um, this is what it'll look like when it's done. And this is what it looked like in January on my last whip parade and I'm not gonna say that every time obviously these are all from my last whip parade so in the last year I have put 1584 stitches and this is what it looks like now I've actually been focusing on this one a lot um, in the last little while I'm, I'm really hoping to get a page finish by the end of the year but we're not talking about plans. This is just a whip parade. I might have to keep reminding myself of that. So this is the mini. I don't know if I said that. It's got 18 count, two over one, full cross. I really like 18 count, two over one. All right. Next up is my mini coffee sloth. This is by Sheena Pike. Um, this is by Sheena Pike. Uh, this is what it looked like the last time you saw it. Sorry for the crinkles. Um, this is what it's gonna look like when it's done. I totally said that backwards, but... And this one has had 4,682 stitches and this one. Oh, I'm not doing percents. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing this. This one's supposed to be a finish this year. This is what it looks like now. Um, yeah, so it's supposed to be a finish. I need to do like, I think I have to like 10,000 stitches left in it. So, um, it's not going to be a finish this year, but hopefully early next year it will be. Okay. Next up, I 
have my Euler's piece, which was an Etsy, um, an Etsy chart. It's, you can't get it anymore. And it's obviously not licensed. Um, I have put, uh, this is what it's going to look like when it's done. And this is what it looked like at the beginning of the year. And I've added 953 stitches. And this is what it looks like now. I think the last time I showed this, I said that, like, I said that this was the middle before I had all this. But anyways, it's not. That's the full. Wow. That's the full um, length of it. So I think the whole piece is only like 10,000 stitches. So, you know, this could be, this could be a finish soon. It should be. It's been sticking around for quite a while. Started it in 2021, so. And next up is my Thomas Kincaid The Cross. This is what it'll look like when it's done. This is what it looked like the last time you saw it, or the beginning of the year. And it has had 1,215 stitches added. This is what it looks like now. There we go. So, um, I'm assuming I like to work from the right. You will find that out very quickly that all of my projects are pretty much started in the right corner or in the middle and then work my way to the right so so far everything i have shown you are all projects that will be sticking are part of my 25. i will as the ones that come up that are you know going into like hibernation I will mention that. I think I skipped one. Sorry. No, okay. Okay, so this, this is my chimpanzee. It is my oldest whip. I started it in 2009. This is what it'll look like when it's done. It has had zero progress actually but we'll show it anyways my oldest whip and I've had no progress on it that's probably not good I don't have to show you a before picture it still looks like this and what a cute little face I don't I don't know why and and this is actually one of my projects that is not coming out I know that makes no sense right the oldest project but I don't know. It just, it didn't make the cut. There's a lot of projects on that I'm putting away in a separate drawer that did not make the cut that I love. So it's just, I like all my projects and cutting it down to 25 was not the easiest thing to, for me to do. Okay, next we have Bird Garden. This is by Amy Stewart. Charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. Ah, uh, this is Mini Bird Garden. And this is what it looked like the last time you saw it. I added 368 stitches. And... Only 368 stitches, which is just... Here it is now. This project is so pretty. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's at, I don't know, 14, 15% or something. It's probably one of my farthest full coverages. I'm sorry, the light is not the best today. I kind of have to tilt it towards the window. Uh, Hang on a second. All right, sorry about that. And now my camera is all, somebody stopped by. So I needed to uh, deal with that. So I do not actually know where I was at. 
missing. Oh, it looks like I finished showing Bird Garden. Hopefully I was done actually showing that. Um, but we're going to continue on. Uh, next is Nomi's. This was started by Kaylee from the sewing shop. This is what it looked like when it's done. Uh, This is what it looked like at the beginning of the year. I've added 862, sorry, 862 stitches. And this is what it looks like now. Now, as I said, this is my snow day project, but technically this is not in my 25 projects. But at the same time, if it snows and I want to work on it, I probably will. I actually almost pulled this out the other day because we got our like first dusting of snow and so I was like oh I should really work on my snow day project but I, I didn't but so this one's not officially in the 25 but it could come up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is not the easiest setup that I have. Oh, here it is. Okay, this is Mini Mountain Landscape. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, this is started by Heaven and Earth Designs. This is what it'll look like when it's done. This is what it looked like at the beginning of the year. I have added 392 stitches, and I think most of those were like the other day. Here it is now. It's got some funny crease, funny creases from, sorry, from whatever was on it. But anyways, I don't work in columns, so that's just a hoop, a hoop mark, which will come out eventually. But um, there you go. So I just hit 10% the other day on this. This is not part of my 25, so that's why I pulled it out on the 26th. I don't know if I said that. I have given myself a free day on the 26th of every month where I can pull out any of my projects. So this one came out and got some stitches. Um, I did grab my... I did grab my um, tablet. I don't if I want to give you guys percentages, but like I said, that one, these old eyes cannot see from that far away. 10.03% is that one. So, that is that. Next. Up is my Gilmore Girls. This one is from Stitch Area on Etsy. This is what it'll look like when it's done. This is what it looked like at the beginning of the year. I've added 537 stitches. This is what it looks like now. Um, this is a pretty big piece, so I have a long ways to go, even though thought I made quite a bit of progress on it. Really? Only 537 stitches all year? I feel like that's all new and like that's all... Oh, maybe not. I, I guess we'll see from the picture what is actually new. So this is on 14 count, so it's, you know, pretty big. 14 count, two over one, full cross. Um, yeah, that's part of my 25. And I don't have a percentage on that one. All right, here is one of Instagram's favorites. This is Daydream Sea Turtles by Sheena Pike, charted by Charting Creations. This is what it'll look like when it's done. This is what it looked like the last time you saw it. Or... Er of the year. How many times am I going to mess that up? Um, and it has had 1,716 stitches this year. 
<laughs> this is a big piece. Can you tell by how much trouble I'm having with the fabric? Oh, goodness. You know what? Here. There you go. That is... That's my sea turtles. Um, oh yeah, you're getting those colors. Um, it's a big piece though, as you can see, so there's there's still lots to do. There's still lots to go on this one, but it's probably my piece that has the most where it's like not just background that I'm working on, where there's actually something there, which is why I'm thinking is another reason why it might be a favorite of a lot of people's. I don't know. Um, that one is at 7.88%, and that is definitely one of my 25 projects. Okay. Next up is... Something that I can't find. Oh. This is He is Risen um, from, why do I not have that written down? Pursuit of Happy Stitches? Yeah. Pursuit of Happy Stitches on Etsy. Uh, this one has had 70 stitches all year. This is what it looked like at the beginning of the year. And I believe this is the right way. This is what I have done. It's really nice, like, pastel-y colors, which are kind of fun. Is that the right way? It's pretty bad when you don't have much progress and you don't even know which way it goes. But anyways, this is not, not part of my 25, so this will only come out, well, if I really wanted to. Um, <clears throat> won't be a focus anyways. Alright. This is Bonded by the Rain by Leonid Afrimov. Um, it's the mini color expansion, I believe. I don't have that, but I'm pretty sure my Bonded by the Rain is the color expansion because it has got a lot of colors, a lot of color changes. I still haven't found it. Um, oh, there we go. Heaven and Earth Designs. This is what it'll look like when it's done. This is what it looked like the last time you saw it. I've added 914 stitches. And this, yeah, is definitely color expansion. This is what it looks like now. Really pretty. If you've been here when I started this, this was supposed to be done for my and my husband's anniversary, our 15th year anniversary. It's come and gone. But that's okay. Nobody actually expected me to get that done, including him. <laughs> okay, next up. Oh, what is even the percentage on that one? I'm curious. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's weird. Oh, <laughs> it was in a different order. I wasn't expecting that one to be first. 8.28%. Next is My Raccoon by Cottage Garden Samplings. This is what it'll look like when it's done. Oh, Bonded by the Rain is one of my 25 projects. I think. I'm pretty sure it is. Anyways, this is the raccoon. Rac a raccoon? I don't know what a raccoon is, but... This is what it looked like the last time you saw it. I have added 605 stitches. Oh, hey. One of my needle minders is still on here. Oh, that's because... I still have... Uh, challenge for like 200 more stitches of this one. Anyways, 605 stitches this year. This is what it looks like now. Looks pretty good. I've been working on that tail lately, which has been fun. There's not like, 
well, I say there's not a lot left on it, but <sighs> there's still a lot left on it for me. It's not going to be a finish anytime soon. Um, it is part of my 25. Okay, next up is my sister's project. I used the Threadbare app to make it. Um, this is what it look, look like. <laughs> this is what it'll look like when it's done. And this is what it looked like the last time you saw it. I have put 4,725 stitches in, and like 2,000 of those were last month. So if you have um, been watching my videos, this will look a lot different from even my last update video. But anyways, here it is now. I don't... No, if it fully got the nice hoop hoop mark right now, but you know that's what happens. Anyways, um, if you were on my Instagram, I was the reason this got so much was because um, I started. This isn't really a progress video update, but whatever. I was worried about this eye. It seemed very dark to me, but I think. The more that I work on it, it's it's getting better. Anyways, this is at 5.5%. So my first, I think it's my first 5% by 2025 project. I think that's my first, um, my first 5% one. Uh, yeah. All right. Next is Christmas Prayer, I think is what it's called. This is from the Cross Stitch Ornaments, why do I remember, 2016, it says right there, 2016 Christmas Ornament Special, and, you know, it's usually, I have a tab on here, but I still manage to always mess it up. Okay. That is what it'll look like when it's done. It doesn't. If I don't like that picture, I will, I will put up a picture here of what it'll look like when it's done. Um, this has had a whole whopping thirty-eight stitches, but for the year. But um, somebody challenged me to put a hundred in it in the next little while here, so before Christmas. But this is what it looked like at the beginning of the year. <laughs> I almost showed it to you backwards. Or, oh no, there we go. This is what it looks like now. This is on, um, it's really tiny. This is on 28 count, 25 count, 25 count, two over one full cross. Uh, no, 25 count, two over one full cross. I do not recommend that at all. I mean, if you do it, that's fine, but for me, I do not like that. And also this um this fabric is like it's got gold flecks in it. I don't know if you can see that. Oh there we go. So it makes it even tougher, like makes it more tough to stitch on. So that might be part of my problem with that too. I mean I think it's really pretty, but it's um it's not easy to stitch on. Especially the full, especially those little, um, those little sheep full cross, two over one. They're a little bulky, but that's okay. Okay, next is... Okay. This is A God Shed His Grace by Abraham Hunter, charted by Artisy. This is what it'll look like when it's done. This is the uh, medium Artisy one. There's tons of different versions of this and lots of people working on this project. Um, this is what it looked like at the beginning of the year. I've put in 1,409 stitches this year. This is what it looks like now. 
reds everywhere, but that's okay. So as you can see, I am still still in those clouds, but I, I have made progress this year. Um, what is the weather? This is 18 count, 2 over 1. <clears throat> Full cross, sorry. And it's at 4.63, so possibly I could get this to 5% by the end of the year and have another one of those 5 by 2025 projects completed. Alright, next is my home is where the plants die. Um, this is by Pursuit of Happy yeah, Pursuit of Happy Stitches. This is what it'll look like when it's done. Sorry, I didn't open that bag earlier. This is where it was at the beginning of the year. I've added 140 stitches. Here it is now. And yeah, not, not a lot. This is that fabric from Michael's that has like four different colorways. It's 14 count, 2 over 1, full cross. I still haven't written down the fabric, what company it is. And no percentage on that one. Oh, that one is not part of my 2025. Everything else that I have shown is. Okay, this is, no, not that one. This is Guardians of the Galaxy. I got it off of Etsy. <clears throat> Sorry. This is what it'll look like when it's done. Uh, this project always makes me laugh every time I bring it out. Um, this is what it looked like at the beginning of the year. I have added 70 stitches to it which is probably double what was actually um, there before. That. Oh, sorry. That is what I have done. The very, very top of Groot's head. And for those of you who have never seen this before, big the fabric is. This is 14 count. Um, two over one full cross. And just to uh, make it even more comical, this is not part of my 2025. So, or my 2025, my 25 projects that I'm going to be making a bunch of projects on. So there you go. Don't know when that one will be coming back. Honestly, I mean, I probably should just you like get rid of it because I. But I don't want to because I really do like it. I just. All right, this is a Church for All Seasons by Nikki B. Um, charting Creations. This is what it'll look like when it's done. And this is what it looked like at the beginning of the year. I've added 2,204 stitches. And this is what it looks like now. Now I know that I definitely got a page finish. I finally finished that one. It's like a partial page, but hey, it counts. So, sorry, I gotta work with my light here so I've gotta tilt a little bit. This one is like a really long one so i've got a ways to go this one is part of my 2025 and this one is not getting to five percent this year <laughs> not happening it is at 2.46 i don't even think it's getting to three percent this year but 
This one is on 25 count, 2 over 1 tent stitch. Uh, this is Top Frog by Jody Bergsma, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. I can't find it. Okay. This is what it looked like the last time you saw it. And I've added 781 stitches this year. This is what it looks like now. Ugh. I'm a parker, so you kind of have to deal with the parked threads. There we go. This one was giving me a little bit of troubles because I don't normally start in the middle, so I get a lot of decision fatigue of which way to go, but that's okay. Here we go. That one is at, oh, this one is a little hard to tell what percentage it is because I took off a little bit on the sides. I think it's at like 2.5% or something. I don't know. I can't. Those numbers are not right. But this is not part of my 25 projects. Okay, next up is Winter Rose by Rachel Anderson, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. This is what it'll look like when it's done. And this is what it looked like the last time you saw it. I've added 421 stitches this year. And I'll figure this out. This is what it looks like now. So, not a lot there. These colors are really pretty though. Huh. I didn't notice that that up there was so... Um, bright, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, it, the light is really picking up those colors. Anyways, um... Is that one at? That one has 2.31% and that is not part of my 25 projects. Alright, this is Glow Up by Carolyn Manning Designs. This is what it'll look like when it's done. This is what it looked like the last time you saw it. It has had 2,220 stitches. And this is what it looks like now. So, there you go. So this one has had quite a bit of project progress and I just fin <laughs> aye, aye, aye. I just finished fully finished that block last month. So this was supposed to be a finish with Carla from Stitch Me Sane. But both of us have realized that we are not going to finish it this year, but we're still we're still trucking along to, you know, I think she wants to get hers to 50% by the end of the year. Maybe not. I don't know. I am just putting some progress into it. Next year. Next year it'll be finished. Um, that one is at 31.58%, so not likely it's going to get to 50%. This is Java Joanna, charted, oh, by Sheena Pike, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. 
this is what it'll look like when it's done. This is what it looked like at the beginning of the year. I've added 1,268 stitches. This is not what it looks like because that was upside down. This is what it looks like now. <laughs> this is what it looks like now. Sorry. Um. Yeah, so... I really, really like this one, but it didn't make the cut, which kind of saddened me. This was a hard one to not make the 25 projects cut, but it'll still come back out. It's not like it's, I'm not getting rid of it, that's for sure. And you know what? In like six months, I might decide that the 25 that I picked, I was sick of them, or I wanted something else, and I might just pick a new 25. I think it's just that I need a smaller amount of projects to work on at a time, because I just feel like I'm not getting any progress in anything if I work on all my whips all the time. 3.83% was what jo Java Joanna is selling. Okay, this is, that's weird, I literally just saw this, okay, this is Red Panda, another Sheena Pike, um, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs, uh, it's the mini, I don't know if I've been saying that, also, a lot of these last projects have all been on 25 count, 2 over 1, 10 stitch, um, so, Gina Pike, Heaven and Earth Designs, this is what it'll look like when it's done. And this is what it looks like at the beginning of the year. It has had 924 stitches, and this is what it looks like now. Isn't that right? Hold on a second. That is definitely not right. Give me a second here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> like, why? Okay, there you go. <laughs> now you can see that sweet little face starting to appear. <laughs> oh dear. I never claimed to be a professional. Lost Uber. <laughs> okay. Um. A red panda is part of my 20, 20, 20 part of the 25, um, and it's at 3.71%. I wonder if I could get it at 2% at the end of the year. Huh. Alright, next up is Dimensions Gold, Northern Night, Abraham Hunter, ah, uh, there's some glare, but I think you can Probably, I'm, I'm sure everybody has seen this chart. Uh, this is what it looked like at the beginning of the year. And I have added 1,023 stitches. And this is what it looks like now. So I made it, started in the middle and made it up to my right corner. And no percentage on that. This is my Lord's Prayer by Anne Makes Things. It's a free, um, free on her website. This is what it will look like when it's done. Um, I've put 200, oh, this is what it looked like the last, at the beginning of the year. I have added 210 stitches, and this is what it looks like now. Um, I'm doing mine on 
28 count one over one, which reminds me, I actually have to frog this box, the yellow box, because I decided to try and do, for some reason, do two over one on 28 count. No, no. That's that. Full cross, too. Mm -mm. So, it's supposed to be one over one, so that actually needs to be frogged. But, that's where I'm at. It's also like a blue, a blue Ada. Or no, not blue Ada, a blue Lugana. This is not part of my 25. Um, Alright. Next up is Sea Villains. Sea Villains by uh, Jerry LaFaro, Charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. This is what it'll look like when it's done. And this is what it looked like the last time you saw it. I've added 3,185 stitches this year. And <laughs> they've almost all been in like two colors, but here is my progress. Hold on. Let's let's do this. Um, yeah, it's been pretty much the same two colors, which is fine. Uh, this one is at, <laughs> it's also not going to make its 5%. It's at 2.28%. And this one, this one also hurt to not put it in my 25. But the reason, this one has a different story because the reason I decided to not put it in my 25 is because when I give myself a free day on the 26th of each month, I thought that that one would be really easy to knock out quite a few stitches in like just having one day a month to work on it rather than um, some of my other ones that pulling them out for one day wouldn't see a lot of progress. So that was my reasoning for that one, because I definitely love that project. And uh, it, yeah. All right. Next up is Blanket Board by Amy Stewart, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. This is what it will look like when it's done. 